you are my old subscriber, you may know about the video in which I told you about an AI chatbot made specifically for hackers so that they can troubleshoot their problems easily. That chatbot was also capable of writing custom scripts for automating your different hacking tasks. If you haven't seen that video yet, I recommend you watch it before moving forward with this one. You might be glad to hear that. Now you can use the same hacker GPT right from your terminal without going anywhere else. I am able to do this using TGPT, a GitHub tool that allows us to talk with different AI chatbots directly from our terminal using our prompts. Today, we are going to install it and see how it can be useful for us. Okay, let's move on with installing this tool. Open the following GitHub page using the link provided in the description. This tool is written in the Go programming language, which is rocking nowadays and is really freaking fast. Scroll down and you will see the installation process for this tool. If you are using Kaylee Linux or any other Debian-based operating system, just copy the provided command and paste it into your terminal. And boom, our TGPT is installed on our Linux operating system. But if you are an Arch user, the process is even easier. Just use pacman-stgpt and press enter to install. Scroll down further and you will see the installation instructions for FreeBSD and Windows. On Windows, you can install it via Scoop or Chocolaty using the given commands. I am not going to show you this part, of course. Okay, now that we have TGPT installed, let's type TGPT-help to check the usage of this tool. Now we see different flags. The first one is dash S, and the description says that we can write a shell command using this flag and execute it directly in our terminal. Cool, right? Let's try it. So we type TGPT-S, and then we have to write our prompt, which is a command for a deauth attack. Let's press enter, and you can see it is generating the command for us. Here we go. The command is ready. Now it's asking if we want to execute this in our terminal. I say no. Look how cool this thing is. You can make commands and execute them directly in your terminal. No more Googling commands. Okay, let's see our next flag, which is dash C. This one can write code for us. Let's try it with the following command, where I'm asking it to write a Python script for counting to 10,000. It's thinking about it, and here we go. Here is our Python script that counts to 10,000. Look how cool this thing is. Now let's make it write another bash script for starting an automated attack on Wi-Fi. This is only for educational purposes, and I am not going to hack into someone's Wi-Fi. You can also generate images with this tool, but when I tried it, it wasn't working for some reason. Maybe you'll see this feature in future updates. Currently, only the black box provider can generate images, but you might see other providers in the future. It's a small project right now. If you scroll down, you can see some other options like dash dash model to get answers from a specific model and dash dash key to set an API key. If you scroll a little more, you'll see some other options. Two of them are really useful, dash I and dash M. Let's try the dash I flag. According to the description, this allows us to use a single line interactive session with the chatbot. Let's check it out by typing TGPT dash I. Here we go. We now have an interactive session with the chatbot, just like the chatbot websites. You can ask it anything you want here, whether it's a script or something else. If you want to use a multi-line interactive session, you can use the dash M flag. This allows you to write a longer prompt and provide more details about what you want. Once you're done, press Ctrl plus D to submit the prompt. You can press Ctrl plus X to exit the session. You can also update TGPT using the dash U option and check the version using the dash V option. Now you can use GPT directly from the terminal without going anywhere else and use all of its capabilities right in your terminal. You can even run other models locally. All right, everyone, this was a brief video on using Hacker GPT on the terminal. If you found this video useful, please subscribe and like this video for more informative content like this. That's all I have for this video. Until next time, happy hacking.